guys, what's going on? Megan here. Um, cool nerd fact, you know, cool nerdy study I was looking at the other day. Uh, a lot of you guys are telling me to share more of my studies because, you know, whether I'm making a video about it or not, I'm daily looking at studies, you know, 24-7. Always looking at different ways to increase my knowledge and just get a better uh, awareness of the world around me, you know? There's a lot of things that we don't know and then we're living in, a, in an age of a knowledge where it should really be a crime to be ignorant of anything, right? Information is mostly free out there. So anyway, I was studying, you know, the same same typical shit, same alpha shit, testosterone, uh, bodybuilding, war, politics, economics. And I, I found a study that, that looked at, um, uh, I was watching this documentary, that's what it was, that was talking about the relationship between us and our primate, you know, ancestors, right? According to science. So, you know, I like looking at things like that, evolution, adaptation, things like that, because it's really related to muscle building. And they were talking about how your posture affects your testosterone levels, which is amazing, because that's one of the last things that you would expect, right, to affect your testosterone levels. Uh, so I was reading different studies, you know, testosterone, this, testosterone, that, and um, they're explaining how they did, they did, they did experiment on um, the same people that told them to come into the room, and they had, um, you can, I'm actually gonna try to find a link and show it to you guys. If not, just type "going ape experiment" some shit like that, and um, a po posture, a testosterone and posture study, something like that. And they had the first group of people come in a room, and they obviously collected that, that sample to test their cortisol levels, which is the stress hormone. You guys know that, and a testosterone level. And then they had them do a bunch of like poses, because in the primate world, apes and uh, monkeys, gorillas, all that shit. The alpha male has his own posture, right? Shoulders are open. He's broad. He's standing up, to, up, you know, up tall, just like in a, in a, in a, in a human kingdom. Uh, and he's, you know, he, he, he just looks powerful. He's why? And then the beta males are like, you know, hunched in. They're always looking down. You know, they, they, they display just by looking at them. You can tell, like, wow, that's the beta. That's the alpha. So they're like, well, let's see if um, humans um, and their posture actually. You know, there's a correlation between their posture and their testosterone levels. They know testosterone is like the social hormone, right? The dominance hormone. So they had them come in and they had them do these monkey, these like, these beta poses, you know? These beta poses. These poses where, you know, you you like this, you hunched in, you look weak and un insecure. And then and then they measured the testosterone levels after those poses. Just two minutes. It was just two minutes of doing that. And on average, their testosterone levels went down by uh, 20%, I believe. And their cortisol levels went up by like 10%, which was weird. Then they had the, the, the next group of people, I think it was the same people, or probably a different group, I don't know. Um, they had them do the power poses, the alpha poses, you know, oh, you know, standing, you know, shoulder square, chest out, you know, chin high, things like that. Um, um, arms spread out, you know, leg, just relax, just boss poses, right? And for two minutes, same thing. And the testosterone levels went up by 20%. Which, once again, it's not a big, big, big increase as far as, like, you know, for us trying to build muscle. But it's a big increase as far as, like, you know, just your brain, your, you know, don't forget, testosterone is not just for your muscles. A lot of people out there that keep saying, oh, don't worry about these little increases in testosterone levels that go up and down because it doesn't do anything for your muscles. Testosterone is not only in your body for your muscles, it's there for your brain your awareness, your mood, your sex drive, a lot of other functions. But anyway, and so a 20% increase is probably like, let's say you were at 400, which is like really low. It goes from 400 to 480 on the scout, on the CN scout. So it's not bad. And so that the people that did the power poses, the T levels went up and the cortisol level went down. And the scientists were amazed. I mean, this study is all over the internet now because it, it was so shocking out of all the testosterone studies. So, and then they came to the conclusion that, wow, just changing your, your posture for a small amount of time has effects on your testosterone levels, right? Which is, for people that study neuroscience, that is fucking amazing because who would have thought that just standing a certain way will affect your levels? I mean, there's crazy studies on testosterone out there, but that was one of the craziest ones that I stumbled across. And I just wanted to share that with you guys, just to remember to, you know, I mean, we preach that all the time in bodybuilding to have a good posture, to be chest open, things like that. Uh, you know, you know, squared up. But now there's another reason why you should do it, guys. For my nerves out there who, who, who are really um, preoccupied. It's not just that it increases your T levels for a short amount of time, right? Whether it matters or not, you know. But it, it also lowers your stress uh, um, almost. And then doing the opposite poses gives you a negative effect, right? So you don't want to be, you know, hunched over. You know, we all know based on you know because of the society we're in. We always on the computer, we always on the desk, we always hunched in and things like that. Uh, it's amazing that now we find out that actually affects your brain, you know, and it, you know, in the long run, 
your um, your decisions and things like that. So just a cool study that I wanted to share with you guys. Open up wide, you know. And they also did the same study when they found out that when you do the V pause, you know, the winning pause, which is amazing because even blind people do that pause even if they've never seen it before. Obviously, they're blind. Even if you never taught it to them, when they win something or you let them know they win and they're happy, they'll do the V pause. Uh, and every civilization across the globe does that, you know, whether they're mad or not. It's like an instinctual primal thing right when we win we put our hands up and they found out that that pause also increased your t levels and they did very experiments to build up on that study where they even had a group of people before jumping before doing something risky and dangerous which is where your t levels come in people with higher t levels are more likely to take risk they had them do the poses the groups that did the power poses were ready to do the bungee jump within like seven seconds right and the groups who did the low bitch poses took an average of like 20 to 30 seconds before even jumping right so that's to show you how just you know um, 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 your body you know your body language right affects your brain in such a you know in such a way that it adds up in the long run now, obviously these increases are not permanent they go up and down but it's good to know that the way you carry yourself affects your thing and then women will tell you man nobody wants to women are not attracted to a guy who's you know who looks all like this and is always like scratching himself and feels all insecure and shit you know just open up wide you know you don't don't be afraid to you know to to let the alpha out but anyway real cool finding um look into it if you want and i'll put more videos like that because i'm always looking at nerdy shit like that all right guys uh comment below let me know what you think of the study and your experiences with it and, you know, if you have anything to add my new scientists out there i'm out of here dominance discipline direction and also guys another way you could use this for bodybuilding is before you do an exercise before you do a set like your max your one rep max on the bench or the squat um try to pump yourself up right do like a winner pause a power pause and let it psych you up before you actually attempt it me and Moko, in fact attempted this um, um about a year ago when we we're doing a bench press back when i used to bench a lot and, and um, uh, we're doing the last, the heaviest one. It was our, our 10 rep max, but we we're trying to do it for like 12 to 15 reps. And I told him, yo, think of something that makes you go crazy. Think of something that puts you in danger, right? So he started thinking of himself playing rugby and people just about to tackle him. And he he pumped out. He was he could only do eight reps previously. It was his max. He pumped out like 15 reps, right? Crazy. And me, for me, I obviously thought of something like crushing my daughter or like a, a fucking... Uh, somebody hurting somebody that I love or a plane crashing or whatever and poof, my brain went crazy adrenaline started going through my body the, it's easy to trick the brain guys the brain does not know really what's going on around it so you can use these things to attempt and if you had a scouter you'd be able to see your T levels you know go up by that little 20% or probably more you know once again it's probably not you know it's not enough to like be to make you you know fucking get the tree your might pill or whatever but um just something that you could use to you know pump yourself up before exercise and science scientists have proved that when you pump yourself up before a set even powerlifters or weightlifters or whatever it plays a lot so try using these little things while you're training you know don't sit there and do a fucking v shape before every every bench press session but um you know stand wide stand tall all right guys i'm out hey guys what's going on megan here quick question i guess really good question too um he said, Megan, um, what is, make a video about the pump, and he said versus, versus progressive overload, meaning what should you go for, progressive overload or the pump, and, and I'm pretty sure he asked that question because he knows that progressive overload is one of the key 